What's going on everybody? It's your boy Rishraf back at it again and today we're gonna be doing the most wanted system very complex but very very simple it's in about I'd say 40 lines of code a little less than that I think it's about 39 so let's get right into this video so as usual I'm just gonna go ahead and start talking while I am, you know, doing my thing. So the first things that we're gonna need is a leader stats. So this works with the leader stats. So we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna go and say on player entered. Sorry if you can hear any background noise. The AC unit is actually on. Um, yeah. So anyways, but what we're gonna say, we're I'm gonna try a little different leaderboard today. But we're gonna go with something like, uh, we'll go with kills. So we'll go, uh, we'll go in value. I'm sorry, we'll go uh, folder. I'll we'll go stats dot name equals leader stats, <clears throat> and we're gonna be doing kills. Speaking of kills, I have been streaming, and I've been streaming some Warzone. And you're probably like, well, you know, Rishraf, I don't have Twitch, and I'm I'm not really willing to download it. Trust me, I think you're gonna want to see it after this clip. So I, who plays Chris, or not who plays Chris Bot, but who is I? That's the extraction guy. Enemy UAV overhead. Thanks for the support, guys. Really appreciate it. I forgot my stream is delayed. Why am I going through freaking. <laughs> I mean, that dude was a camper. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, literally, I didn't even see him. I mean, I hate hate people like that. Um, but yeah, so I'm just making a simple leader leaderboard. I haven't really been coding all day. Um, stay tuned for nil to mill. I'm going to be recording that pretty soon. Um, it's going to have an introduction, and then it's going to have the rest of the tutorial series. I think it's going to be goaded because... Because I think people need that kind of stuff. I was watching Alvin Blocks and other YouTubers. I'm not just saying it's him. Um, but I've been watching it. And it's just like I haven't really been learning anything. Uh, so we have our leaderboard right here, guys. So um, now we're going to do... I'm just going to go and rename this leaderboard. Um, just like so. And then I'm going to insert another script. So how this most wanted system is, it sorts the leader stats and tells you who has the highest one. Now... It is very more, it's complex. You can't just say who has the highest leader stat. You have to get them and sort them. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. So the first thing we're going to do is do game. We're going to get their players. Uh, yeah, so like I was saying, with the nil to mill series, basically we'll teach you everything you want to learn. Um, I'm not going to really repeat myself because I'm going to be explaining it all in the introduction. And of course, it's going to be a series dedicated to you guys, but... I mean, I'm not trying to throw shade or anything, but I'm not going to charge a membership. I'm not going to charge anything for you guys to really learn because I'm going to teach you the way I learned and I'm going to make sure that even your parents can literally learn uh, what's going on. So, um, so yeah, so basically what I'm doing right here is I'm just going to do return uh, a two. And then we'll say B2. Okay. And then we got this little function. So we just made a little function. We said uh, sorted table equals table.sort. So we're going to have a table with all the players. I'll show you exactly what that does. So we're going to make a little function called update stats. And we're going to say local highest equals zero. And then we'll say four IV in pairs. And we'll say in the player table do say if v2 is higher is greater than the highest then highest equals v2 so this is basically just declaring a value and saying if the player with the highest value if that exists then make highest the highest value make it the greatest i should say Make it the greatest value. So highest equals the greatest value in the session. So if a player 
indeed has a greater value than the already top score basically then set the new set a new high score basically um if you will i i it's kind of hard to explain that uh else and i'll say else if v2 equal equal highest so if so what i was thinking was i was just like okay let's get the guy with the highest score but what if then what if the players have the same score so this is what we're going to do so we're going to say this is for um let's go ahead and do um we don't have to add that we'll say print v1 say so has the highest score so this will be right here this little line right here and this little comment little break that i did was this is the player with the highest score so if you want to get the player with the highest score you would just say v one that's his name or her name i should say so mine's zeker pvp that's my username zeker pvp right here so we're gonna print zeker pvp has the highest score but we're gonna say that if someone else has also has the highest score then we're also gonna say that um v one dot dot also has the highest score and then we will have our four ends now we'll just make a little while wait do so we'll have our while we'll have our while loop we'll say while while every 10 seconds we'll do player table equals and then we'll just reset the player table and basically now we just need to fill up this player table um thank you guys so much for commenting i see the growth in the youtube channel um thank you so much guys uh really appreciate it I mean, you guys commenting is like literally the reason I literally do it. Like all the likes and subs, like as you can see, there's no ads on my videos because like not in it for the money. I'm not going to charge you a membership for trying to learn something um, like other another uh, Roblox YouTubers do. So I'm just not going to do that. I'm going to make mil, mil or nil to mil very nice so um i did want to say real quick though um right here is where you're gonna determine what your leader stat is going to be called so i'll go ahead and tell you right now so we'll say and then we'll just update the stats okay once we have so every 10 seconds we'll refresh the leaderboard we'll refresh what we know so we'll reset the the amount of players in there and then for in players we'll get their name and then we'll find their leader stat value you can have multiple so um i wouldn't recommend sorting multiple because this is just not for it um but you can you could change this to a and b3 whatever but then uh, this is how you make a little table inside of a table and then you have kills dot value change this so if i'm using money in my leaderboard notice i'm using kills right here if i'm using money like player with the highest bank robbery money right then we would do uh money and then we would change money here you only have to change it in the leaderboard obviously and then one time here okay so this all looks good uh, i don't see any reason for anything else to be uh out of the ordinary but everything looks good so we're gonna go ahead and test right now so the desired output should be i have zero right now so the desired output should be uh zeker pvp also has the highest score because we don't have greater uh, if I had won, then it would say that I had the highest score in the session. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do it. So this is basically for you. So we're going to wait 10 seconds. Basically, this is for you to go ahead and make yourself a Surface GUI right there. Zeker PVP also has the highest score right there in the uh, output. And we wait another 10 seconds. It should do the same. So what I mean by this, see, there we go. What I mean by this is that you guys can make your surface UIs like jailbreak and you can basically make instantiate a new one and just put the player's name with their score and just say that, you know, <laughs> there it is. This player now has the highest score in the session and you can make it to where if they both have it, then you can instantiate just two surface UIs. It may be a little confusing, but if you go and play jailbreak, and you go ahead and look at the I don't I haven't played jailbreak in a year so like I'm not really sure but last time I checked the police have a little wall uh, where it tells them most wanted uh, that's kind of what we're referring to and you can also do this in a 
in a local script as well, actually. You really can, and then just put it on a UI. You can really do anything with this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next video will be the first introduction. It will be the introduction of the new series, Nil to Mill. So if you guys are excited, if you want to learn how to code Roblox, not projects like I'm showing you right now, but if you want to learn the basics uh, all the way to intermediate, we're not going to start off with debugging and printing. Print console stuff, that's useless. I don't believe in that. Uh, I'm going to get you right into it. So you guys will basically learn the way I did. And you guys will be able to make really nice stuff. So really excited. Um, make sure you do have post notifications on. Because you'll be the first one to know. And you'll be the first one to actually learn how to code. So uh, have a great day, everybody. Peace! Listen!